Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about your dreams. Not your dreams for the future, but your nighttime dreams. Do you know that God speaks to us through our dreams? And um, for many of us, we dream dreams and we don't know what they mean and we're not sure if God's speaking to us. So I want to teach you today about honoring your dreams. When you dream something, um, if you feel like there's any type of anointing on it or God may be speaking to you, just ask him. Ask him what they could mean for you and he'll start revealing to you what they mean and he's going to start uncovering a whole dream language to you, which is an amazing journey to be on. So for those of you who are listening that are actually dreamers, I just want to share some things that I've learned through my years of dreaming and hearing God speak to my life through my dreams. Um, I just want to share two main things with you. The first thing is your dreams are not just some kind of puzzle that God has given you that he wants you to get an answer for your life on. It's not just some kind of one plus one equals two. It's not just a formula. Of course, dreams do carry answers for us, but the purpose of dreams is so that God can engage with us in a heavenly language, in a dream language. And so if we're taking our dreams every time we dream something and just going to a friend and asking what they could mean, then we're not really engaging with the God the way he has designed us to engage with him. Um, and it's fine to do that. I remember I was going through a hard time in my life and I had a dream and I, I couldn't interpret it because I was interpreting it through my own wounds. So I needed to ask someone and it was a great help and they gave me an amazing word from God through that. So there are times when we do ask people about our dreams, but predominantly it's about asking God. It's about pressing into heaven to find out what our dreams mean. Because when we press into heaven, we actually develop a language where God will speak to us very specifically and he will build on that language in our dreams. And so we don't just take our dream and just resort it to a formula. The other thing about dreaming is that um, if we just look at books and find out what the symbols mean or, or we think of every symbol that has to mean something that happened in the Bible, we, we actually limit our dream language. And so I very seldom look at books to find out what, a, what something could mean in a dream. I really just press into God and I ask him, what does that mean for me? What does that symbol mean for me? And then God starts to build a language of symbols that is very personal to me. And so dreaming with, with God, when you dream at night, it's all about engaging with heaven, him revealing secrets to you that you can ponder out and discover the next day or over some time. And then the other thing I wanted to share with you is to really press into your dreams. You don't have to get an interpretation the very next day. I love to pray in the mornings because when I pray in the mornings, if I've dreamt something, it's in my heart, in my mind. I can ponder it. God reveals more to me the next morning. But sometimes it takes a few days. Sometimes, um, you know, I'll be thinking, oh, I'm done with that dream. But God is still working on me through that dream and I will still have to ponder it. And so it's important to press into our dreams because God may be wanting us to really just press into heaven. And it's so amazing when God reveals what a dream means through our own interpretation by his spirit, as opposed to just getting it from an, another person or getting it from a book. There's power in just that personal relationship that we have with Jesus, which is why we have dreams. It's because God wants to just us to grow in our relationship with him and our language with heaven which will feed into our prophetic language and our ability to hear from God in other levels so I'll just give you a little example because it'll help you really understand what I'm talking about so sometimes I'll dream a dream and I'll know it's from God but I won't be quite sure what he's saying or I'll know what some parts mean and not others so recently I dreamt a dream that I was riding on a horse and for me specifically horses mean something so I knew what God was saying but I was a puppy dog in my dream and so I couldn't understand why I was this little dog I didn't know if it was a good or a bad thing what was God trying to show me and then um but I kept pressing in and it took me like I think two days the next day, I was just saying, Father, what do you mean? Like, I'm just going to just, I know you want to show me what, why I'm a puppy dog. It wasn't random. And so the Lord showed me what it meant. 
um, and it was so powerful. He showed me, Mandy, I just wanted to encourage you because in your heart, you, you feel like that little dog where you don't like to take a risk. You just want to sit on the lap of your master and you don't want to do anything risky. And you're so used to that kind of lifestyle. And in the dream, you're on this crazy horse. You're going at such a high speed. You're so high up. You're terrified. But in that dream, you have to hold on to the horse. So what he was telling me is, you know, this is who you are right now, but you just hold on to the horse. Don't worry. You, you're going to be okay because you're on that horse and so um don't worry that you're feeling a little bit scared you you know i love you and so he was encouraging me through showing me that i was that puppy dog and i had to press into him so i know that may sound really bizarre but for me that was so encouraging and your dreams may seem bizarre to other people but for you they're going to be encouraging and so you really trust god and honor him but when you get a dream ask him what it means ask him if this is a message from heaven and if it is Ask him to reveal that to you and document that and pray before you go to sleep. I pray, I say, God, just reveal dreams from heaven to me as I go to sleep. I, I try and make my mind just in a place of real just peace and rest in him as I, as I go off to sleep. And then I keep a pen next to my bed so that I can write out if I do dream something and I wake up in the middle of the night. So guys, I know it's long this morning, but there's so much to say about dreams. God bless you. Have an amazing week. Bye.